Hello, everybody, and welcome to this version of Tiger Talks, where we're going to talk about a new series that we have in the library called The Essential Elements of Cultural History. It's another series of six books, and it covers everything from music to film to fashion, you name it. The first book is called actually just that, The History of Music, and I like how it talks about what makes music or a certain song a hit. You'll find the answer to that one in here. The next one is A History of Dance, and uh, what they say is when in doubt, dance it out. Why do people dance and uh, the kind of the, the, the history of how it's developed over the years and changed. The next one, <laughs> pay any attention to that obviously, it's called the history of fashion. But it's kind of interesting. One minute you're in a trend, the next minute it's way outdated. And what I find ironic is after a few years, those same trends come back. It talks about that a little bit in this book as well. The next one is probably one of my favorite because I'm a film buff. It's called A History of Film. And if you look real closely at the front picture of that one, I love that the people are wearing uh, 3D glasses. And I, it's hard to tell. It looks like most of them are kind of scared, but it's kind of funny. But films make us laugh and cry. Uh, they make us understand worlds beyond our own experiences. Uh, you know, the question is, why did we start making films? They answer that in this particular in book. Uh, the next one is A History of Art. And it's kind of interesting. It defines how do we make art? What defines great art? Uh, how are some of the ways we express ourselves? And that's talked about in this book. And the last one we have is the history of television. Now, I like this because on the back it says that the average American consumes more television than any other form of media. Well, folks, this is a brand new book. I really wonder if they actually thought about things like YouTube, uh, gosh, all the Vine, all the different social media and ways we watch our news and our information and our entertainment through the internet. So television revolutionized things as much as almost the internet did as well. So you read these books, check them out. They're all in the nonfiction section of our library. Again, it's called The Essential Elements of Cultural History. I really think that you're going to like those. We hope you have a fantastic day.